All right, foodies, so let's get started. I have some butter in a nonstick pan, and once it's heated, I'm just pouring in some beaten egg. You can add salt and pepper to the eggs if you want to. Then you just want to swirl this around. You want it to coat the pan. Use a pan that's big enough so this can thin out, okay? Then you're going to put two slices of bread right on top once the egg has set, okay? And then just press it into the egg so the bread can stick. Then flip it over because you want that side of the bread to get toasted okay so fold that over then do the same there and if you want to fold in the sides you can but you don't have to then add some lettuce if you prefer turkey you can use turkey if you prefer ham use ham add those meats i have some cooked bacon it could be turkey bacon or real bacon then some slices of tomato Go in with some avocado or guacamole, whatever you have. Right now I have both. I have avocados and I have guac, but I chose the guac because it has so many other things added and it's going to give me a creamy sandwich. Once you flip that over, you just need to press it slightly and then slice it. That's it. What I love about this is that the bacon is chewy and crispy, but then you get the creamy guacamole beautiful beautiful variety in textures it's so delicious remember guys you can use whatever meats you want but this is just some inspiration okay and now the next sandwich same thing butter in the pan then i'm gonna add some diced spinach so this is raw spinach just cut it up and then once you cook it then add the beaten eggs the eggs can have salt and pepper if you want same thing again swirl it around the pan and allow it to set over low to medium heat because you don't want it to burn then i'm gonna go in with cheese mozzarella and cheddar i'm only gonna put the cheese in the center here where the bread can cover it because i don't want the cheese to burn once we flip so put the cheese right there then cover it with the bread then once you press the bread into the cheese and the egg you're gonna be flipping it while you're doing these sandwiches, guys, remember to maintain low to medium heat so nothing will burn or overcook, all right? So just use your spatula to release the edges of the egg there and then flip, then fold over and we'll add some more ingredients. So now I'm going to add more cheese. You could use sliced cheese. Remember that you don't have to use grated cheese, okay? You can cover the pan if you want the cheese to melt quickly. But if you have warm bacon and warm deli meat, then that will melt the cheese. Next step is just to flip that over and press, then slice this was also scrumptious the cheese is really great in the sandwich remember to check out the description box for the ingredient list and let me know which of these sandwiches you would be willing to try thanks for watching bye bye